you think we're living in a simulation right now and we're just talking about this <laughs> as uploaded beings? I think we have no idea what is the fundamental basis of our reality. And, and I, I mean, that, that, that's the bottom line. The, the idea that we're living in a virtual reality simulation that's in some way analogous to a video game seems highly unlikely to me, but I think that's kind of a lack of imagination, really. But I mean, the idea that there is some reality outside the reality that we know about, probably there is. We're probably very ignorant. I mean, I think about my, my dogs at home when they watch me sitting at the computer. What do they think I'm doing? Like I'm guarding this physical object. I'm wiggling my fingers to get some exercise. They have no idea what I'm doing there, right? I'm just sitting there. They have no idea I'm controlling vast networks of computers halfway around the planet or communicating with other people by text or something. I mean, in the similar way, when you get an AI much smarter than human beings, it's probably going to perceive aspects of the world that are totally opaque to us due to our, our limited scope of, of cognition, right? And we're going to discover the universe as something utterly different than what we think it is. But the odds that it's a simulation or a video game seem very low. It's going to be something we can't even imagine now. Wow. And are you going to live forever or upload your consciousness? I certainly hope so. Yeah. If, if, okay. if, if not, I'm counting on my, my uh, kids to figure out how to reincarnate me, right? So. And are you going to digitally print any kids? Of 3D print any kids? Um, I, I would. We'll, we'll, we'll see how things eventually, right? It, it, it may be that virtual realities become become more interesting, but there, there's certainly that possibility. Okay. I, I, I would I would love to see, uh, you know, if 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 there's resources, it would, it, would, it, would, it would be a lot of fun to have millions of clones of all of us and let them all diverge in, in, in many different directions, right? But this may happen in virtual worlds rather than in the physical base reality. Right, so we just got ourselves in the virtual world and all these yeah. weird clones of us. I mean, the process of raising a kid is partly wonderful because of just the biological constraints on it, right? It's, it's not clear that 3D printing kids is even gonna seem worthwhile. To, yeah. to me, I mean, I've loved having children. It's one of the most rewarding parts of, of life, but it really is, I mean, it's sort of bound up with the whole traditional biological way of being, right? I mean, it, one, Which once, gives our lives meaning, right? Well, we think. It, it does give our lives meaning right now, but there's a lot of, there's probably a lot of other ways to derive meaning in the universe also. Like, I, I would like to fork myself into multiple copies and let one remain biological and keep producing kids in the, in the good old-fashioned way, which has its rewards also, and have another version of me live in the virtual world where it can take any physical form it likes, and another version, like, give up its humanity and merge with the superhuman god mind. Like, you're not limited to just, just one future you. You, you. you could make many copies and let them do many different things. And then you're in three different realities, and you yeah. communicate with each other sure. or not. You can, but it will be interesting because the, the, version, the version of you that uploaded to become one with the superhuman God mind may be evolving at 10 billion times the speed of the human version of you, right? So it won't necessarily have much to say to that human version. Like between each word the human version said, there would have been like billions of years of subjective time by the, the superhuman mind version that would have drifted off in some totally different, different direction, right? So the, the thing is to... I, w I hope to live long enough to experience all this. I'm sort of at the cusp, I think, right? Because I mean, I'm 52, so if we really get the singularity by 2045, I'll probably be around by then. I'm in reasonably good health. Right. Far from far from guaranteed, it's right? 24, 25 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah years. right, right, right. Okay. So I'll be. I mean, my parents are in good health in their mid 70s. I should still be around then, but you, you never know for sure, right? And. On the other hand, if the singularity came in 2070, which is what, what my father predicts, right, then unless we get some radical medical advances, I'll be dead by then. On the other hand, we're looking at a strong potential of radical medical advances, and those could occur even before a full-on singularity. So I think whether you and I survive to see all this is going to depend on the specific rate of advance of various technologies that, that, are, that are currently under development, but 
I mean, my kids, my, my granddaughter, who's 14 months old now, they're, they're going to see the singularity unless something really un unfortunate happens, which is, which is uh, amazing. Right, and that excites you. It does, yeah, yeah. And that's assuming we don't screw it up and set off some nuclear missiles or something. We're going to screw up a lot of things, and if some nuclear missiles are set off, that will be tragic, but it probably won't stop the singularity. Right. I mean, I think you could kill off billions of people without stopping the singularity from happening. I'm really hoping it doesn't go that direction. But, uh, yeah, we, we can't rule that out when you, when you look at the idiocy at the highest, highest levels of government in, in many places on the planet right now. Yeah.